Okay, so back here working on the shower. Got the drain set. And our next step now is to do the shower floor. So what we're gonna do for this with the curbless shower on a concrete slab, we're gonna be using what's called a dry pack. It's essentially concrete or mortar that you don't add a ton of water to, so you can get it to hold a slope without it sinking down and leveling out. For this project, the steps are gonna be, I just finished vacuuming it all up really good to get any loose debris in there out. I just have my a couple of screeds here just to show that for the process of laying the, the mortar, you're gonna to wanna to screed it out from the edge of the drain to the level of the floor. And so I have a couple of different lengths here. I think that's like a three and a half footer. That's like a two footer over here. Um, but we're gonna be screeding off of the edge of the drain and the level of the floor all the way around. So it's gonna to slope towards the drain all the way around from every edge. So now that the floor is all cleaned up and vacuumed up, what we're going to do is we're going to mix up some thin set uh, that you would just use to lay tile. And that you're going to kind of, I'll show you here, but you're going to use an old paintbrush and paint it on the floor all the way around from every edge. And the whole floor will be covered in thin set. And then we're going to lay our dry pack concrete right over the top of that and what we're doing is the thin set is kind of acting as a glue to bond the dry pack mortar bed to the existing concrete so when everything dries it will be nice and bonded together so let's get to it we're going to go mix up the thin set i'm also going to get the concrete or the dry pack ready in uh in the wheelbarrow right here next to the shower so the first thing I'll do is I'll get the, the bags of concrete in the wheelbarrow ready to go. No water yet. I'll get the thin set in a bucket. Not that one, a different one. And ready to go. And I'll bring in a couple buckets of water so we can kind of get everything ready to mix together. So we'll mix the thin set first and then the dry pack. And then we'll go put the thin set in the shower and then bring the dry pack over. Here's the product I'm using for the dry pack. It's a four to one mud bed mix by Mapai. Got it at Lowe's. And then this is what I'm gonna use for the thin set to bond it to the concrete. Same company, it's just normal tile mortar. So before I get started mixing everything, I just wanted to show you the tools I'm using. Got the drill. To mix a wood float, a metal trowel, just that old paintbrush, and then a couple other uh, mortar trowels. I'm not sure if I'll need them, but I have them just in case. And then also remember I've got the screeds over here. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. Okay, got the thin set mixed up. Um, you want it kind of runny because again, you're gonna essentially paint it on the floor. Let's get to the dry pack. So this is something I've never done before. Um, I'll show you the final product, but you want this to be, like I said, really dry. Um, the standard test is you want to be able to clump it up into a ball and it holds its shape but there's no moisture coming out. It's kind of like if you were building a sandcastle at the beach with that wet sand that holds its shape. Um, so I think a common mistake that people would make, and I would probably say I'll make it myself, is you're gonna add too much water and make it too wet. But this has to be very dry. So let's, uh, let's get at it. We'll see how it goes. So I think that's good. 
can see. Make a little ball out of it. Okay. Let's get to it. I'm just gonna remix the thing set one more time. Okay, so we got the thin set down. That was perfect. Just the right amount. Now I'm going to put the dry pack over the top of it.
All right, guys, that is it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my levels and I'm just going to double check that I've got a slope, a sufficient slope going down towards the drain in all parts of the bed. guys there it is so as you can see it's still a little rough on the surface that's just kind of the loose sand per se but that should should sweep right off I uh, had a little high spot over here so I forgot to record it but I came back and took a little bit more out of here to make sure there's enough slope down to the drain it's perfect now Everywhere has the perfect amount of slope all the way around. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. That was uh, quite a bit of work. I actually ended up mixing up another bag of of the 4 to 1 mix. The sand stuff here. Um, just so I made sure I had extra as I was screeding along. That I could push extra along and I didn't have to keep grabbing to fill back in. So that is it for the shower bed. Um, next step, I've got to frame in this wall here. And then other things like the rough plumbing, the insulation, we'll get into the, con the cement board for the walls. Then we'll do some waterproofing. There's a lot more to come. So stay tuned guys. Appreciate you following along. Yeah.